Hello and thank you for joining me on another lovely day. Um, yeah, this is uh, this is not going to be a regular car video. I'm going to tell you why I moved to Florida. I, I know a few of you have um, asked me about that. And I'm just going to show you. Uh, I'm going to give you a, a little tour of, uh, of my driveway. I know I did that a little bit last time, but <laughs> you can see my car. My car. <laughs> Yeah, I live in my car. Uh, you can see my house back there, and you can see the trailer right back there. But, um, yeah, I'm just going to be walking around uh, my property, and, um, yeah, it's it's quite sizable, and that's one of the reasons why I moved to Florida. I used to live in New Jersey, and it was like central New Jersey, about 25 minutes away from New York City. And um, me and my wife, we lived with... Uh, my parents and I've been living with my parents ever since you know I've never really lived on my own but um, what living with my parents did it afforded me uh, to sort of mooch off them if, if you will but it uh, it also gave me a lot of opportunity as far as saving money and uh, being thrifty and, and learning how to kind of handle handle my own money and my wife really helped out with that she's she's good with money so we started looking around for houses so houses in New Jersey are crazy expensive and when I'm talking about crazy expensive I mean like you'll get an 1100 square foot house um, in a halfway decent neighborhood, I mean, there's not too many muggings or stabbings for like $400,000. And on top of that, you have to uh, take into account you have New Jersey state tax. Then you have to uh, account for property tax. I mean, my parents have a house. They bought it originally for, I want to say like a hundred and, hundred and, you know, change, a hundred and something uh, thousand dollars in the mid 90s they're paying more than ten thousand dollars in property tax every year something like this however this is a about uh almost three thousand square feet i have almost an acre of land and i pay a little bit over three thousand dollars in property tax it's just an absolute night and day difference what you get here versus what you get anywhere else. Now, um, I know a lot of parts in Florida, they are a bit more expensive if you get closer to the coasts. I didn't want to live next to the coast just because you have crazy hurricanes, you have, uh, you know, floods, you have really high insurance premiums. So I'm in central Florida and I'm in a really quiet neighborhood. And I think I'm the loudest thing here. I mean, I hope my neighbors aren't, uh, aren't looking through their windows, uh, trying to see why I'm talking to myself. But it's an extremely quiet neighborhood. It has zero crime. And when I'm talking about zero, like within the past like two years, there's been nothing. And not even, you know, like a parking ticket. But, well, I mean, parking ticket, look, there's, yeah, who's gonna get a parking ticket here? But um, there are a few issues that uh, I don't like. I mean, the bugs, you can see me wiping away stuff Ugh, on my face. I'm just, the bugs, the heat, but that's not something I can really, you know, change. Honestly, it's, it's easily mitigated and something that I can learn to live with. It's, I'd rather live with bugs and, uh, and a bit of heat in an air-conditioned house that I own for next to nothing than just, uh, you know, having to deal with crime and taxes and, and all that. But as I go into my, my backyard, Again, this is, uh, this is all pretty open. As I go into my backyard, um, another thing I like about Florida is that me and my wife, um, I've been married for about three years and change, and uh, we like to take cruises. So we like to go on a lot of cruises, and we like to travel, and, and all that stuff. Like, we're pretty, we're pretty old at heart. Not, not too much of a party guy. But... Um, in Florida, there's a lot of cruise ports, and all the time, like every single time we needed to go to a cruise, we needed uh, to take a flight down to Florida. I mean, there are cruises from New Jersey, but they're not very good, and if you want to go as far as, uh, like, 
I don't know, the Caribbean, that's an extra two days. And those two days going back are just kind of soul sucking and they're, it gets cold and windy. So we'd rather have everything here. It's cheaper here anyway. You get a Florida residence rate. And uh, yeah, I mean, we can, we can cruise more. Uh, we can go on vacations more. We're about 40 minutes away from Orlando International Airport, which is just a hub to go anywhere. Uh, this is sort of rural-ish. Uh, it is like a small, a very, very small town environment, but it's, it's, not, it's not in the middle of nowhere. Uh, we are less than 10 minutes away from a major supermarket. There's uh, this Home Depot, this Harbor Freight, there's a major town basically 15 minutes away and everything's available. Um, and I mean, I'm again, I'm walking down my driveway and look, that's one end of my driveway and I may be like a quarter in and it goes all the way out there and to the back of my house. And um, yeah, so to, to finish that train of thought, New Jersey, it ha there's a lot of opportunities in, uh, in New Jersey, but I work online, I work from home, and I wanted a place that I could really sort of uh, relax in. Because one of the biggest things I was doing is uh, I was I was burning out. So I was working maybe 14, 16 hour days, and this is in my parents' house, and this is in a room that I lived in since I was maybe 10. So we're talking like a a 10 by 10 room maybe uh, and it's it's between me and my wife and you know I had to do all my work there so I was working on the bed I had a little couch like a futon and I was working over there and that's sort of how I started my businesses and whatever but uh, yeah this house has an office it has a, a garage where I can work and it's extremely quiet I mean if there's a car coming I mean there's a there's a car over there and like Every single car you see, uh, you, you either know who it is or you're like a little, a little suspicious, like, oh, who's that? But uh, there's no one here to cause trouble. And uh, yeah, I just love how tranquil it is. Um, I'm not, again, I'm not a party guy and I don't miss the city at all. I do miss, you know, being uh, closer to my family who is still in New Jersey, but, you know, maybe I can convince them to come out here. Um, another thing about, uh, about Florida that I like, uh, especially for my car enthusiast uh, viewers, and most of you should be car enthusiasts because this is like a car channel even though I vlog a, you know, a, a ton about crap. Um, Florida has no state car inspections, which means that you could drive anything you want. And driving anything you want, <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, you, you do get the cars that are like barely put together with duct tape and string, but there are really interesting swaps out here. There are things that aren't, probably aren't necessarily legal or like just on the cusp of being legal. But for a car guy, this is where you want to be. The only issue, the only caveat with that is that there aren't a lot of good driving roads. Um, all the roads here, they're, they're very well maintained. But they're flat so there's not a lot of turns however if you go to the swamp and i think when i get a more interesting car other than my mercedes um if you get a more interesting car there are some swamp roads there are some like roads by the everglades that a lot of motorcycle guys they they swear by so there's really good cruising roads uh there are some twisties in florida so i am going to be doing uh maybe one or two videos about finding the best roads in florida but this this isn't california you know uh this isn't going to be la so you have to take that into account i mean it wasn't really a big deal for me because three hours north is the uh, tail of the dragon so i can always make a trip out there uh there's a lot of car culture out here there's a lot of really cool car guys there's a lot of uh there's actually a lot of racetracks out here. So if I ever want to do an actual race event, uh, there's like motorsports parks, uh, you know, for days. And um, yeah, I mean, the, the car culture is very, very strong. Uh, I like that I can buy cars cheaply here. I can insure them cheaply. Like insurance is way cheaper than New Jersey. And 
I can live like a, uh, you know, a house like this. Man, I, I don't, in New Jersey, it'd probably be closer to like a million dollars, and I'm not even joking about that. A house, a house like this would be just unattainable for somebody in my price bracket. But uh, yet, you know, it's here, and you know, there's a, I'm just, uh, I'm just very grateful. Yesterday, me and my wife went to Disney World. You can just go to Disney World. We we got a uh, got a yearly pass because uh, we're Florida residents, and it's like I'm not gonna say it's super cheap, but it's it's affordable and it pays for itself if you go twice. So we're 35 minutes away from Disney World. We can go to Disney World for lunch. That's that's freaking awesome. I couldn't do that in New Jersey. And if I ever do want to go back to New Jersey, it's 200 bucks, and I can just you know take a flight out there. But we'll see. I will be going back and forth. I do still have, how many, three, four, three cars out there that I need to send over here. And um, that's the issue of why I have only one car and it doesn't work, my Mercedes S500. But uh, I will be getting those cars over here and uh, we will be doing very, very interesting things with those. And I might actually buy a new to me car in, a, in about a month so stay tuned for that but uh yeah i hope you enjoyed my rambling this has been sort of a short video i have no idea how long it is but um yeah tomorrow's video i don't know if it's gonna be tomorrow or the next video is gonna be me working on cars but i wanted to sort of uh close the gap i want to put out more content and uh, i wanted to sort of close the gap on you know, me not putting out videos. I wanted to give you guys a perspective of why I moved out here and uh, a sort of inside track of what I do. So, you know, I appreciate you uh, watching me get sweat in my eye, but no matter. So um, if you enjoyed my rambling, uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. If you didn't, just hit that dislike button. It's fine with me. Um, I like feedback. So yeah. Stay tuned for me working on more cars and getting dirty like I am here because I just worked on my car a little bit and I decided to come out here and ramble. Um, yeah, I'll see you next time.